All right, guys, so I just got home. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. And what is waiting by my door but this box? So this is from a company called Sutro. Now, they contacted me three weeks ago, and I was a little hesitant on doing a review on these because mainly they're really nice dress boots. But as I scan their catalog and as I look through everything, I realized that they actually made one that was just like a wedge sole work boot. I said yes to doing this review because I'm going to review these as a work boot. I'm going to put this boot through its paces as a daily boot for the next three weeks. I'm going to run around and do everything I need to do with this one boot. But what we got to do is we got to look at it, right? Because this is an unboxing. I mean, why would we not? open this thing up and unbox it for an unboxing. So I'm gonna let's go, let's rip into that. Oh, that's a nice looking box. Black boxes. There's something about a black box. It always, I don't know, black box, right? But you know, Seal the Sutro, San Francisco. Now they're a company out of San Francisco. I don't think they make their boots in San Francisco. I just think that they're based out of San Francisco. And they got a lot of nice dress stuff. So if you're in the dress boots, definitely a company to look at. All right, here we go. It's gonna pull it from the bottom, let gravity work with us. We don't need that. Are you guys ready? Because I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Oh, surprises in the box. All right, we'll get to this, but look at that. Look at that leather. Leather welt, double stacked leather welt, Vibram sole. The leather feels, it's dress leather. It's not work leather by any means. It's a dress leather. It's leather lined, leather backed on all the eyelids. Let's pull the laces forward, waxed flat laces. I'm not a big fan of wax flat laces, but hey, what are you going to do, right? It's really is a dress boot. It's not a casual or a work boot. Nice, beautiful insole. So leather lined insole on top of a urethane footbed insole, footbed. Hard footboard inside. So you guys with orthotics will work. And that is a thank you card. And it's a personalized thank you card, handwritten to me. It's not like some generic thank you card that you'll see in other brands. It's handwritten to me, so that's pretty damn cool. Inside here, oh, a little leather card holder. I'm not saying you're gonna get a little leather card holder with yours, they might've just threw that in for me, but the boots, look at those. What do you say I put them on and you guys see what they look like on? All right, sounds good? All right, so right out of the box, what I can say is it's a dress last. The way my foot fits inside and the, how, the point of the boot, the way it all kind of ties together, definitely a dress boot. But the comfort and the way my foot just slid right in, I don't think there's gonna be any break in. I don't think there's gonna be any questions about guys asking me how to break these in. This is some really soft leather. And that Christy sole, that is a true Vibram Christy sole. That's the good stuff too. That's not some of the other brands they use a Vibram Christy sole that just doesn't feel as soft and pliable. That Christy sole feels good. That feels like a vintage Christy sole. You know, the way they used to feel back in the 90s, even in the 80s, just they always felt great. All right, so they have three speed laces and it's pressed metal speed lace, which is fine for a dress boot. This is, this is running, this is the basic dress boot stuff. And 
you guys are probably going to really like them because of the antique brass look that's on there. I'm not a big fan. I never really have been a big fan of press speed laces, but damn, do they feel good. That is a nice feeling boot out of the box. I mean, I can't think of very many heritage style vintage dress slash work boots that actually feel good out of the box. My toes do not feel crammed. They don't feel short. So, and the heel, the heel feels about perfect. So, like I said, this is just an unboxing. So let's say in about three weeks, maybe four, I will have a full review. Like I said, I'm gonna wear this as a work boot. I'm going to actually put this thing through its paces. So I'll get some nice detailed photos now of it and put them on the Instagram feed. I'll put them out there on Twitter so you guys can see what they look like out of the box. But subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Instagram, follow me there and you'll see them get used and worn and beat up over the next three weeks so we can see just how they patina and age. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to follow me, Instagram, Twitter. If you like, support me on Patreon. All right? All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.